guys, right now, to today. A lot of people were talking about this, so I figured I I, I would uh, sh I would share my side of the story. Flamingo? Oh my god, Flamingo was in Beast Squid Game? <gasps> oh my god. Flamingo? Flamingo? Oh my god, Flamingo and Squid Game? Flamingo? It started with this TikTok that Carl Jacobs posted. The event is unfortunately canceled. And then he, <laughs> then he said something there. That won't show. Uh, stop. <laughs> Mr. Beast put a squid game anime. <laughs> I could watch my whole family die and I would not have this shocked of a face. <laughs> but yes, I was at the, uh, <laughs> I was at the Mr. Beast squid game thing. Guys, and oh my god. <sighs> Make sure to watch to the end because I have the worst thing to say about Mr. Beast. Look, insane cake cutting. Do they yossify him? Yas. Um, if you didn't find out through like TikTok or something, you wouldn't know that I'm in the video because uh, I'll show you the part that I'm in. So I'm not here. I'm not here. But I will tell you, I am here. <laughs> Look, there's me. <laughs> Look how little I am. So uh, basically what I did is I, I helped carry out the dead bodies, which is which feels kind of fitting. I carried out a lot of the dead bodies with uh, a couple other people. So 456 like in Squid Game was the main character of the actual show. But look there, wait, where am I? Wait, I don't think I carried out him. <laughs> Look how awkward I am. I thought I, I would, okay, I was scared of, this is me. You can tell where my shoes. My mask was falling off my face and um, I think like a scene before this it did fall off and uh, Mr. Beast Jimmy had to put it back on and then they started recording it. So I kind of screwed up one of their shots. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look how awkward I am. I, I hate myself. Why did I just stand there like that? So this has 120 million views in five days today which that's a lot of, that's for especially that's a lot of views it's nothing compared to me and what i've accomplished but hey it's everyone starts somewhere you know i had a great time and all the one thing that really put me off is when my mask fell off before he put the mask back on me for the video he grabbed my neck and started squeezing then hit me and said <laughs> he told me that i would never make it in this biz he whispered in my ear you're next this was all very confusing. I think it was just part of his character. He didn't have to hit me, though. This is slander. None of this happened. Um, he was he was really nice. He was, like, actually very, very nice. Besides the part where he hit me with all his might. Look how much taller he is than the average person. Imagine those giant hands smacking you. It's something I always imagined, and then it became reality. He was really nice. My video might have spoilers in it, so go watch his video first. I wasn't gonna even participate. I flew to North Carolina to just kind of watch this happen IRL. And then Mr. Carl, he demanded I put on the costume. So uh, here's me at the red light, green light thing. Um, If I'm gonna be very honest, in my mind, there was a 50-50 chance. This could go one of two ways, and it's a 50% down the line. I think there's a chance Mr. Beast shoots everybody. Like, I, I feel like what if he wanted to really make history? That's what he would do. Obviously, that wouldn't happen. But in my mind, it was like likely. It was likely that that would happen. That didn't happen. At the start over here on day one, uh, I started like, at one point I just started lying to people. Like I, I just w would go up to people, like they would ask me a question about like, oh, how much time do we have to do the red light, green light thing? I think I told them one minute and that's, that's not good. And I'm sorry. <laughs> Fellow Roblox YouTuber Night Fox was there. On the red light, green light, he recognized me and uh, I, I <laughs> As you can see, he has a 15 minute video talking about his thing. He went pretty far. I wasn't in this scene, or I wasn't in any scene really until the end. Uh, this is the cigarette scene. This is the scene where Jimmy smokes cigarettes. That's not what happened. All right, then we had the tug of war scene. Night Fox, he, he made it past this stage. I think I remember talking to him beforehand or maybe after. No wait, he's right there. He was team seven. Then here's the marble scene. 
I wasn't here for this. I think I slept in that day. Here's where it got a little juicy. I think there was some actual drama between friends about it, which is understandable because you're competing against each other for a lot of money. They had people writing down who was friends with who. They would write notes on everybody who like communicated. They have a lot of smart people on their team. I was a pretty big fan of the Squid Game series. So seeing all these sets in person was really cool. It was really cool and motivating to watch the whole process. I didn't really do anything to help them. I just kind of wandered around and wasted people's time talking to them. But I appreciate the invite a lot. The glass bridge. Look at Night Fox. Look how tall he is. So uh, this was kind of some drama because uh, at one point, like nobody wanted to go, understandably. It's just Everyone's yelling at him, and then, oh, no! The people in the back who didn't risk once are screaming at the people in front who already, like, took the risk. There's, like, 20 seconds left, and nobody was going. I feel like this wasn't emphasized enough. So, 456, who was, like, uh, he was kind of the star of the show, he actually took the last jump, and... I don't know. I thought that I thought that was pretty cool. This is the final spoiler war alert. I don't want to take away from his video at all. Go watch his. But basically, it comes down to these two guys. Wait, let me show you. No, I'll, I won't spoil everything. Besides the person who wins, this guy who won. Where would he be without me? I on day one, he had to go pee really bad, and I escorted him to the bathroom. Uh, that's the that's all I know. What if I had let him sit there and he peed his pants and he was too f afraid to come back? That would not have happened, but still. The best feeling in life is getting credit for things you didn't do. So I would really appreciate if everyone kind of gave me a congratulations. Congratulations on this whole video. There is no death in this one, but if I got second... You know what? I am so sorry about that. Look, there's me. You can tell by my shoes. Oh my god, look how little I am. I hate this. Guys, it was so heavy. They picked the wrong little boy to do this. I'm not that strong. Wait, I met a lot of the people in the Mr. Beast circle. All of them are very, very sweet. Uh, I made it a few new friends, and that makes me very happy. Woo! Woo. He gave every single person who participated here $2,000 each. He gave away so much money in this. It's actually insane. This is a behind the scenes video. I, I'll also link this. Uh, this is really crazy. They made like a whole video game of it before they even started editing it. So much went into this. But yeah, like I said, everyone there was extremely nice and I'm uh, grateful to just have watched it happen. So overall, I'd have to give it a, a one out of 10. Um, This sucks. I hate this video so much. But yeah, go watch it. Um, uh, people wanted me to talk about it, so there's, there's me talking about it. Here's a cute little picture of me on Twitter. Funny number.